Hi, I'm Oreo. Welcome to the Art Studios with Ms. Perna and Ms. DeGroot. Hi, everyone. We're going to be drawing a picture of Crispin from the story, Not Your Typical Dragon, by Dan Burrell, illustrated by Tim Bowers. So Crispin is actually kind of a triangle shaped dragon head. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start out by drawing the curve of his nose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an S curve line coming up and then down like that. So it's almost like a little roller coaster hill. Next, we're going to draw this curving line coming up like that. So here is the top of his mouth. We're gonna put a letter U line to make a smile. And above that letter U line, we're gonna put an oval. And over this line, we're gonna make another oval. I'm gonna put some smaller circles inside. I'm going to put a little smaller circle inside to make the highlight in the eye. And then I'm going to color it in. So there are Crispin's eyes. Next, I'm gonna put just a little letter C line. And I'm gonna put a curve coming down for the bottom part of his mouth. And I'm gonna bring that back up like that. So it's almost like a curving letter V. All right, we're gonna draw some, a letter V line up and then down. And then another one up and then down. And we're going to curve right here and then bring it down and then bring this side down so you get like that triangle shape. And let's put Crispin's fangs. He has a fang here and he has a fang here. He also has the cutest little wings on like his ears. So we're gonna make a line, diagonal, and a diagonal line this way, and then a bouncy line, boing, boing, boing. And there are his little wings. We can add some accent lines inside. And we're gonna do the same, going the opposite direction. Diagonal, diagonal, bounce, 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 and then some decoration lines. So there is Crispin's head. Now his body, it looks like a raindrop. So we're gonna make a raindrop shape. And we're going to put a letter V arm like this. And a letter V arm like this. And we're going to put some zigzags to be his claw. And some zigzags on this side to be his other claw. And then we're going to give him a nice tail that is super skinny at the end. Okay, so we want it thin on the end of the tail and then bring it back to be thicker on his behind. There you go. We're going to draw a curve and then add some zigzag toes. And then a curve and some zigzag toes. And one final thing, we're gonna put a line from the side of the mouth down. So this part of his head is green. This part is going to be green. His back and his leg are gonna be green, but his tummy and under his chin are gonna be white. Now, another thing I forgot, he again, two diagonal lines and give him tiny little wings. Wings on this side and some tiny little wings on this side. And if you want, you could show him maybe holding a stick, a loop on it, like that. Does anyone know what he's gonna be doing? I'm gonna make him, he's gonna be blowing bubbles. And we learned how to draw bubbles last week. Remember, draw circles and put two letter C's inside so our bubbles are floating. All right, I'm gonna color Crispin up and I'll see you at the end of the video.